G'day everyone, thanks for joining us again. Um, firstly, this this time round with this episode, I'd like to thank the uh, the crew, Paul Topping, Dan Van Gasterden, uh, Gary Martin, Shane Brower, Glenn Lovell, Jackie Mackay. Um, without you guys, um, I, I'd be nothing. Um, so thanks guys. In this shot, we can. I, I thought I'd just add this, I slowed it down so you can see how much the belt moves around, the blower belt. Um, it's driving about three or four hundred horsepower in that blower at you know at probably ten thousand RPM. So um, it does take a bit to uh, drive the old blower, and you can see it in the belt. And that belt was tight. So um, yeah, just a bit of a demo there. But anyway, uh, look, we've pulled the engine apart. Um, most of it looks pretty good. Uh, not all of it, as you'll see in a sec. Um, yeah, we've got. Um, normal bearing wear really uh every time you pull it apart it's slightly different but i i guess um this past meeting it's uh it's seen full rpm uh you know it went 10 7 um and 62 pounds of boost um so you know the poor old thing she's working um so you expect to see uh a few abnormalities but for what it's been through, it all looks pretty good. Uh, very happy with um, the piston rod pin combination we have, all Carrillo stuff or CP. Um, camshaft looks good. Um, and I'll get the crank crack tested. It's shown a bit of, um, you know, we can see the old rod uh, journals have seen a bit of load. Um, now, now we get to the issue. As you'll see in this... Um, footage here this is us lining up against Craig Geddes in the semi-final um, Craig gets about a two second head start just under two seconds um, and I get a bit anxious and leave seven thousandths early uh, he he would have he would have dusted us anyway we were miles off our index we were three good three tenths at best off our index and he was under his index so we're never gonna win but we just treat it like a test session but anyway after the car launches, um, about 80 feet out, it rattles the tyres. Uh, and this this causes me to get off the throttle and hit it again. But um, as it's rattled the tyres, the main fuel line that goes from the barrel valve to the distribution block, which I'll add, we were tightening up every run, going through, uh, going over all the fuel fittings, because um, it's a common common issue with these things. Anyway, it rattles loose, and we're losing about two gallons of fuel at 8,000 RPM um, in that uh, footage there that you can see the cloud or the mist. And then towards the end of the track, through the traps, uh, about 1,100 foot, that puff of smoke out of the exhaust, well, that's uh, that was a dilemma for us. Uh, it doesn't really show how close I went to tipping this car over because it really pulled left. The back of the car swung around on me. Um, but anyway... Um, here you can see the uh, the the puff of smoke uh, reason, and that is the basically the insert. The whole insert has just blown out the exhaust, um, and I've put it down to uh, the spark plug in that cylinder melted the earth strap, and I think it, my theory is a bit of that molten metal's got stuck between the valve, which you can see here that's quite bent. Um, got stuck between the valve and the seat and created a such a hot spot uh, through combustion that it's just superheated the valve up to the point that uh, it would have been glowing red, possibly hotter, white hot, and um, the piston has just kissed it because that's the piston out that cylinder and, um, and bent that valve beyond recognition. And without the valve seat, it really tucked up into the uh, exhaust port out of the way thank goodness so um the pistons toast as you can see on this side it's got uh, some detonation cracks there so we'll break out a spare again um but yeah um this isn't a detrimental thing for us it's something that in in my trade that we're dealing with from time to time so it's it's a common repair uh, not that inserts just fall out on their own but there's always a reason but um yeah it's it, for me i've already got spare valves and stuff so there's no no biggie uh we'll replace the two valves in that cylinder um have the head welded and um, repaired uh new inserts put in and um we're good to go 
and a huge shout out and thank you to Ben Thompson Electrical. They've renewed their uh, sponsorship for the 24-25 season. And this will allow us to um, upgrade the safety uh, requirements for the speed that the car's doing now. So um, this will allow us to get all of that stuff, carbon brakes, um, um, all the electromotion stuff, all, all that gear. Um, so thanks to Ben and Tash. And look, if there's somebody out there that would like to be involved with uh, with our car and, and, and potentially resetting the world record for a small block powered car, uh, nitro or methanol, um, then yeah, give us a yell. Um, plenty of room on the car and uh, a unique way to, to uh, promote your business. Anyway, thanks for joining us again. And um, once we've got some uh, welding and stuff done, we'll do another one and uh, you'll be able to see how we go about repairing these cylinder heads uh, from this damage. Thanks again and see you soon.